Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got a mini review. Sorry about that. I'm always hitting the camera mount. I need to build me something that's overhead, but I wanted to do a mini review on the new ish Lux V2 and why I like it. Now, you know, if. Okay, what's going on with you there, buddy? There we go. If it was perfect it would have an f4 chip in it instead of f3 but one of the things it does have that makes me still want to use it is it has the mpu 6000 gyro now before it had the 6500 which was prone to noise and really required soft mounting and so with the v2 they did some changes that was the biggest change change that made me willing to give them another try because i stopped using luxes and for some people this sd card uh, slot here is going to be great because then they can run um, black box people like joshua bardwell that's just so good with black box and and it is um it's not something that I've learned yet. So I'll leave it to people who are way smarter than I am, like Joshua. Um, but, you know, one of the things that I like about it here, and let's go and see, make sure you can see this, is, yeah, there we go, right here. This is where you bring in power from your LiPo. So this takes, you know, normally flight controllers take 5 volts. This one actually takes straight LiPo, 2 to 6 S LiPo power. And the advantage is, is one of the advantage is for things like um, I'm doing a build now that I'm using a 4-in-1 ESC on there. And since it's got a 4-in-1 ESC and I can take straight LiPo power, I no longer need a PDB. So that saves weight and it saves cost. Um, this is, I believe, um, $34.99. So it's not a cheap, but it's not expensive. Um, your ESCs get mounted really well laid out. So your motors one's going to be here. Your motor two is going to be here, motor three and motor four. And that's how they have the pads laid out and you just wire directly to them. It makes for a really great connection point as opposed to pins. And then we get our 5 volts for our um, receiver. And this receiver is going to be the Turnigy IA6 that's going to be going with this because that this person is going to be running the new Turnigy Evolution radio. So um, it's just really a great, well laid out, super easy to solder to. If you're a first time solderer, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. I'm going to use it. It makes it really easy for you to be able to solder to these. And for people like me that like a clean build, it makes for a clean clean build. So that's why I'm running this V2. Is it the newest F4? No, it's not. Um, but for a lot of customers that aren't really running the faster gyro or the the um, you know 32k or 16k. Um, it's not an issue. And for this, for me, it's more important. You know, there's not a lot. Now you're going to chime in. There are some F4 flight controllers that allow you to run straight LiPo power, but the ones that I prefer as far as an F4 flight controller, they require five volts. And I just like this layout. So it's great that we don't have to have any kind of voltage regulator and it's just going to make for a nice, light, super clean build. So that's in a nutshell why I like and still am going to give a chance, uh, opportunity to see how well these do in builds. Um, I've done them on, I put it on a previous build and did not soft mount it at all. And it was just rock solid. So I'm excited about that. So this is from Lumineer, and you can get this from Get FPV in a lot of different places. This is the Lumineer Lux V2. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you're getting something out of these videos. Like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my website at xframesfpv.com. And also, if you subscribe and you want to know when I post a video because I'm not very consistent about it, 
there's a little bell right next to the subscribe button and you just click that. It'll notify you when I post a video. So thanks so much and I hope you get some time to fly.